A what? Oh. And on this side of it, there was supposed to be the first national. Stars and bars. First national. It's different. That's that red, blue, white. With, uh, one star. <laughs> and where were you? What? Where were you, Cam? Your tent? Right here. Right here. We kept an eye on them. We yeah, kept an eye on them? No. You, you snuck up on the Yankees. We did this morning, right? Yeah. We made it their camp. Oh. We did their camp. We marched up like we were marching. We were having a talk. We marched around. Uh -huh. One guy finally said, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> and we fired him. We charged him. We fired him. We charged him. Oh you, you missed yeah, the execution the battle, yesterday. No, we wanted, they're going to have another one today. Yeah. They're going to have be, another one at 1230. I'll be part of the firing squad. We shot someone yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're going to have, that's what she said. They're going to be another one today. And a bank robbery and something else. A bank robbery. Yeah, a bank robbery and there's going to be an execution at 1230. Ooh, that it's, was really cool. Mongo, the big yank. He's been over here mostly all weekend. Uh-huh, you got better stuff over here. We traded more food. Yeah, we treated him yesterday as a prisoner. Why do you put the, the hay around? Keeps the cold wind from blowing in. Oh! At night. Tuck ourselves in. Keeps it from getting wet. Keeps you warm. Oh, oh they're already mounted. Have you guys been to Never. No? Never. No. We haven't. Oh. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, he has. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't. I haven't gone yet. The one. The next one will be the end of the season in September when we go up to. What is that one? Oh, I'm going cold. up there to the yeah, old. Greenbush. Yeah, Greenbush. Old way house. Too cold. You're gonna see what I got. Depends. Yeah, depends on the weather. Yeah. <laughs> depends on the weather. <laughs> These guys own their own horses. Bring them along, huh? Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Cowboy. Who's that, Abraham Lincoln? Because it's at 10 o'clock, you guys are going to march. you drilling or something. Well, you're a little little early. It's at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's right. You can't tell time. <laughs> you, don't you don't keep schedule? Oh. You don't keep a good chance with me and we're going to do it. Oh. Caught him unawares, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Early this morning. Mm -hmm. It was about 8.30 and 5.00. Oh. Oh, yeah. They caught that. It's a camp and a fork. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> we're eating breakfast, huh? I know. They come back. They get to wash their face. They get a plate and a fork. They get the food on it. Wow. This is pretty neat. Boy. I'll be able to get sick of putting the tent up. Take a blanket oh, under the star. Just grab some hay and throw it down. Huh? Some, some dog. Some, some. Carry everything you own. That's all they did. You wouldn't see tent work through in the swamp for 45 days. Well, I don't say for a long time. Huh? Russian Army, Tennessee, really bad. Under Bray. Hmm. 
early, early in the morning. Got yourself a Yankee, eh? Hey. <laughs> you be the man that says he's too old for this. <laughs> You're too old for this. Arr. <laughs> old enough. Old enough to know better. <laughs> and he still wants to do it. I'm 50 and I've got two grandchildren. I'm 50. I'm 50. I'm just turned 50. I don't have two grandchildren. <laughs> If you're still breathing, you're still old enough. <laughs> How come this Yankee don't have any irons on him? Uh, well, he's about ready to escape. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want him as a prisoner. It costs us too much to feed him. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh there you go. <laughs> well, you're not too old. In the uh, real war, they had... Uh, the, the uh, Confederacy uh, yeah. basically recruited anybody between the ages of 15 and 65. Oh, oh. My, my, my wife's family in front of 52nd Virginia, and the oldest man in the room was 69. Oh, my God. I started out in a couple of kids in 2nd Wisconsin. Real good time. And so they, they were recruited in 1862 out of Manitowoc, Wisconsin. They were on the 2nd and 3rd call up, and a lot of them were in the 40s. So, uh, <laughs> We just shave that boo man shoe off your face. <laughs> you think so, huh? They'll <laughs> tie you down. <laughs> Please get in there, you shave it. <laughs> you think so, huh? Nice to meet you. Oh, she hides your brush. What? Uh oh. Something she wasn't supposed to have, huh? And the plastic. <laughs> I filmed the plastic. Oh no, no. we'll have to edit. <laughs> I don't do that. Oh, oh Bobby pins too. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh yes, I am. <laughs> I don't even want to know what I look like right There's now. an old soak. <laughs> you can get his video, you'll find out. <laughs> By the end of the war, they weren't wearing uniforms like that. By the end, there were guys were officers were coming out of the ranks and from the corners, and they can report uniforms like that. Soldiers were wearing jackets and stripes. Watch out, this horse! This horse is kind of muley. Oh my goodness! That's for posterity, eh? That's to all the Wilbers out there. <laughs> I don't need that to all the Wilbers. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms, we got this and this. Sheds. Sucks. Okay. Do you make these the way to do it? The way to go? Yeah. Yeah. Not, like that. <laughs> Not that big deal. Not that cheap. Yeah. Gotta make it plain. I would be good. 
On some wool. Some I have seen in camp life that was typically done in 1861, 1862 primarily in the Western Army. Um, we are the 10th Tennessee uh, in the 41st Virginia. 10th Tennessee was in the Army of Tennessee, fought out west. Early in the war, we were commanded by a general by the name of Braxton Bragg. Braxton Bragg had a propensity to um, irritate a lot of people and get on the wrong side of people because of his um, disciplinary attitude. During that period of time, he had a kind of a reputation. I think it was overly exaggerated. But the troops often mentioned that Braxton Bragg probably killed more Confederate soldiers than any one single Union ever thought. It didn't take much to be executed under Braxton Bragg's command. If he caught you deserting, it was certainly an executable offense. If you were caught sleeping on picket duty, it was an executable offense. And it was, it's been written in diaries that he even executed soldiers during battle that were actually helping their comrades off the field after they were wounded because he thought they were derelict in duty and should have stood their ground to uh, help fight the Union forces. Today we're executing a prisoner that's been accused of desertion. And um, normally speaking, the execution would have been witnessed by the entire regiment. So the members of the regiment could witness what happens to a deserter or whoever was being punished for whatever misdeed or misconduct. The firing squad was often chosen from the same unit that the prisoner had been from. And to make them feel somewhat at ease, all the rifles but one were loaded. So when the firing squad was finished with their deed, each individual member in that firing squad could walk away thinking that perhaps his rifle was the one that was unloaded. The accused, <laughs> sitting over there against the fence, under guard, he was, he, he was accused of desertion in the face of the enemy. And uh, we will be executing him against the wood barricade over there. And uh, anyway, that's that's the the, the general gist.
nice to have a truck go through here.
Nice and nice and cool. Oh, over here they're doing it. compared to one officer? <laughs> He's an officer. Oh, here they're walking with their flags.
That's supposed to be a general's uniform? Yeah, it's supposed to be a general's uniform. Kind of long for you. I'm yeah. just saying uh, they're just, they just want to be. There's several, <laughs> several officers wandering around in dress this is, uniforms. This is our son who's oh. in the reenacting. Oh. So We've been sitting there tobacco. talking. What? You got your tobacco. Yeah, we got our tobacco and the coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that little, that little pouch, huh? Wow. Yeah, hell, it's better, not, better <laughs> than peanut enough. shell, ground up peanut shells. Oh, you know? yeah, yeah. Or uh, yeah. potatoes. <laughs> Potato coffee. Potato coffee. Yeah, peanuts. Oh, good lord. Oh, peanuts. Do you were, are you wow. down on the hill too for the... Oh yeah, I'll be down there fighting. Oh, yeah. Show up in your day. Come when you right. can, you know. Yes. Uh -huh. But if I don't have to work next weekend, I'll be going down to uh, Indiana. Oh. West of, uh, by the Illinois border there, west of uh, Indianapolis. Oh yeah. Biggest one in Indiana. Big reenacting, yeah. That's oh. a... Boys gonna start firing over here.
That's how they used to do it. Come on, little one, get down.
Okay, we'll charge.
<laughs> Union got pushed out, huh? Wounded it all. He's going back in the Well, it's, 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 it
That's all, Josh. They can't shoot again. Josh, they can't shoot again. No, 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 no,
just, you know, like, I know. Like, you can get it done. Come here. The like union's like coming. Here's your team, Josh. Come here. Oh, my cheek hurts. Come here. Come here.